Welcome gamers, the Stone Monk here representing the Mortal Realms crew. Um, we've got a huge drop on the Warhammer uh, community website. We're in for a treat, a series of articles over this week, maybe one each day, um, giving us uh, some sneak peeks into the Legion of the Gash uh, rule set and some of the stuff coming out of there. Um, today, we got um, our first taste, and that's with the Grand Host of Nagash and some new summoning mechanics. Um, not sure if these are all the summoning mechanics. Obviously, there's probably more ways that they interact with each other, but it gives us a good sense, um, which was a, a big question after the weekend when we got a number of leaked um, war scrolls that we weren't sure if those were real or not. And it turns out, it seems like those are pretty accurate, um, if, you know, if not dead on. Maybe somebody... Um, did something to them. I have no idea, but uh, but a couple of things are definitely confirmed here um, that those war scrolls are correct. So let's get started. The first thing that is that it put front and center uh, the power of Nagash, and that even the um, the powers of chaos are worried about you know him if if he if he schemes long enough and if he has the drive, which I don't think anybody. I think dwarves are jealous of his uh his grudges um but if he, he's driven and if if he has uh, enough uh time uh his things can happen and i know he's been smashed down by archeon and other other people but he doesn't die he just he just goes away and i think you know what he he maybe came out too soon or uh various stages of his power um are gonna put him up to 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 go toe to toe with different uh different icons of, of the Pantheon. So, um, but, but what they're saying too about, uh, malign importance and then specifically the Legion of Dagash book is that this book isn't just going to be, um, fun, but this is going to be a reboot of death. Um, now there's no, there's no new models that we know of yet. Um, there's a couple of, of things that look like, um, kit bashes similar to how the, uh, Vargeists and the Crypt Horror kit were combined into some Crypt Flayers um, or some um, Crypt Courtiers, you know, that sort of thing. So there's a couple of those coming up, but it doesn't seem like there's any new. But So so how are they going to reboot Death as a whole? And what they say is bring them in line with modern Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Um, so that's super interesting. Um, making low-level in in <laughs> infantry um, highly regenerative and elite um, uh units there to back them up so and it seems like they're going to be key for them is going to be uh finding the synergies uh as it is with most armies but maybe it'll be uh unique for these guys or in a unique way that these guys need to find that synergy um so so it's a reboot this is something brand new this is um you know death as we currently know it you know this is brand new fresh here's how they're going to work um and this falls in line with what we talked about or what we've seen with like uh, um, the maggot kin of Nurgle and the blades of corn that this is kind of like a uh, in this case this kind of death is like one whole faction faction Nagash is a faction kind of thing um, so uh, we're gonna see some uh, let's see what we got for previews on this um, right away they get into summoning now summoning is gonna happen differently what we saw in the leaked war scrolls is that the the summoning magic, the ability, the magic spell to summon each of those war scrolls like skeletons or, or uh, zombies or whatever um, are no longer on the war scrolls themselves. So the wizards, uh, in death wizards do not gain a spell from their card like they used to because it isn't on their war scroll anymore. Um, instead, each of those, a lot of those units that were summonable get the keyword summonable. Um, and that's going to, that keyword is going to interact. And this is similar to the keyword Skyfarer in, uh, Kred and Overlords, where that means that they're a unit that can, uh, embark or disembark from a sky vessel. Um, and so, uh, it, it's going to work a lot like that. It seems like, and, um, these, there's going to synergize now a couple of units that lost their, that keyword are, um, I believe, um, the. Uh, Morgasts lost that keyword, but I think um, what I, from what I recall, I think uh, um, uh, Spirit Host gained that uh, keyword. Um, so there's there's some of the Night Haunt stuff that becomes summonable now. Um, so that's interesting, and that's that's cool. So that means we're gonna get a greater summoning mechanic, and some of the 
the kind of theorizing is that this could be something a lot like um, blood tithe points or um, um, what is the maggotkin one, the contagion points, um, or even fate um, dice type of thing. Uh, so maybe we're so it seems like we might get something new that lets us do some things differently. Um, and so here though the we get the the keyword summonable on a number of squ roll scores. Roll sc war scrolls, and then we get um, what what we saw in the war scrolls was this common theme through many of the heroes of undead is that they get this new skill called death invocation, a uh, deathly invocation, and this allows them to in like heal back wounds on units. And if they're one wound, you know models, then you're gaining back models. Um, if they're um, or if there's they're two wound models that haven't taken, you know there's no model with a, a wound on it then they would get back, um, you know, additional models that way. But um, so, and and some uh, some units, some heroes can do that to two different uh, units at a time. Nagash can do it, um, I believe, to f five units at a time. Um, so, and they stack. So you could have Nagash hitting five, a White King hitting two, um, you know, uh, a, um, a Necromancer hitting some more, and you're growing back all of the stuff that maybe, you know, died, uh, which means that for things like skeletons, um, grave guard, you're going to have to do a lot of, uh, take out quite a bit of them in order for them to, uh, die. And here's, here's the, the rule right here, only summonable units. And that means that you can't, um, units like blood knights, units like Vargas, units like Morgas aren't going to be able to heal back wounds with this, uh, ability. That definitely means that we need some of that, those low level chaff units that may not be chaff anymore. They're, they're going to be chaff, they're going to be tar pits, um, you know, so, but they're just going to be mounds of skeletons that just um, will not stop grasping at you because uh, you can't move them. So I think, uh, you know, not only that, but with the, um, the boost in points uh, or the discount for 40 blocks of skeletons and, and whatnot and for, for zombies, etc., um, with that discount, this is going to be very appealing because those those units, if you don't take those units, then this ability that all the heroes have is going to go to waste. So this is a big encouragement to take these uh, um, small, you know, killable units. Um, and like it says, it, it stacks. Now, um, <clears throat> then they go into some specifics about uh, Nagash himself, if you take a Legion of Nagash. Um now, this doesn't say that you can't do this with others, but just talking about Legion of Gash, you'll be able to make some of the units more powerful with grave sites. So this sounds like a, a terrain feature that you'll be able to pay, put down two um, grave sites in your own territory and two grave sites in the enemy's territory. And then summoned unit, summon, summonable units can be set up or to emerge from the grave sites later in the game. So that could work as reserves. It could work as a teleport. It could work as, um, you know, reinforcement type of thing. Um, I may have said that earlier, <laughs> or I don't know yet. Um, uh, or it could work that, you know, those, they're embarked on Nagash hiding inside his cloak. Um, who knows? Uh, but you've got some terrain on the board that could be, maybe it's the Garden of More kit that you can use some of those mausoleums um, as your... Um, you know, as your pieces and within a certain distance of those it counts as a grave site. Um, I don't know yet. We don't know yet, but there's something to that effect. Um, or maybe it's just a token that you put down. Um, and it says, uh, you know, this lends to board control um, and making it so that, you know, these slow, some of these slow moving units don't have to go as far if they want to get into the enemy territory or, you know, go after um, objectives in the enemy deployment zone or even, you know, on that, take, take a different path towards an objective, you know, do some flanking, do some, uh, uh, you know, grabbing people on both sides, etc. Um, so that's something that seems like it could be unique to, to the legions of, of Nagash. Um, oh, it says, no, sorry, I'll reread this. It says, dedicate your armies to one of the legions of Nagash, and you'll be able to make some units. So it seems like if you're taking, um, you know, um, Archon or Manfred or Nagash, you'd I'll be able to uh, do one of those, it, use those grave sites. Um, let's see. Uh, it says here that uh, this is some 
some things that uh, um, allow you to, if you take a grand host of Nagash, and I don't know if that's the the big overarching or if that's specifically, um, you know, I think it's, you know, just if you're taking Nagash as your leader, um, as opposed to taking Archon as your leader. It says on a five up, you heal D3 wounds that have been allocated um, uh, to it. Um, so every hero phase, you're healing even more wounds that way. Um, and you can return slain models that way. So there's just there's so many ways to bring models back. Um, I worry a little bit because I know like death saves, um, having additional saves on top of saves on top of saves. You get BSB, former BSB, which is the White King BSB, is no longer a thing according to the leaked War Scrolls. It used to be kind of annoying for opponents to have to wait for all those rolls to see if they kill anything. Here, maybe it'll be different because they'll kill a whole bunch of stuff and then the next turn, some of it comes back. That can be disheartening too. Um, maybe that kind of emotion is good when you're fighting a death army. Um, uh, but something to keep in mind, uh, how many of these kind of stacking things do you want to put in here um, to just never die? All right. Um, um, so you've got, uh, you know, this the Deathly Invocation. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just going to make these units impossible to kill or really hard to kill. Um Grave Guard are going to be battle line for the the Grand Host of Nagash. Um, let's see. It looks like there's going to be um, command traits uh, for Nagash, and I and I, we read in here there's going to be two spell lores that he's going to have to choose from. Um, so and and right here they talk about a, a unit of uh, let's see twenty Grave Guard being able to put out 162 attacks because of some of the, the skills and abilities that are out there. So from a White King, a Necromancer, and uh, and Nagash. Um, so not only are they going to be able to be able to survive, but they're going to put out uh, the numbers of attacks um, to to you know to make the their money back, I guess. So that's that's good to see. It's good to see that there's going to be some punch, and maybe you're going to be afraid. I, when I played death, uh, a lot of death and, and death rattle, specifically at the beginning of Age of Sigmar, 20 skeletons was no joke. 30 skeletons were, you know, people would, the problem with 30 skeletons is people would avoid them. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, there's a thing called the Ossific Diadem, uh, which adds even more durability. Um, stacking on top of Deathless Minion. So we do see that Deathless Minion still say is still there. So on top of resurrecting you know units back to health full health uh we get deathless minion for probably a six up save at the, within nine inches like it's currently is but we'll see uh and this ossific diadem roll dice uh each time you're you allocate a wound or mortal wound to a friendly death rattle model within 12 inches of the bearer on a six up the wound is negated um man so that means that your hero's stacking a six up wound a sticks up six up on top of a six up uh in order to protect skeletons or, you know, that sort of thing, uh, from, from dying. So skeletons are going to be, I think are going to be pretty choice here. Um, I'm pretty pumped to be painting up some more. And then it's talking about, uh, Morgasts that when they're taken in the grand host of Nagash, they get a plus one bonus to attack. Uh, this was cool from the war scrolls. Morgasts are now, um, you still have the Archai and the Harbinger, the Archai still um, no longer buffs uh, casting, but instead does a negative bravery. Um, the uh, Harbinger still does D3, sorry, th three dice to charge, um, but they can both take either the dual, you know, two-handed, two one-handed two one weapons um, or the two-handed um, halberd. So that could, just gives you, you know, you take the halberd with armor off and you got an Archai. Um, but this plus one bonus to attack with the halberd just makes those pretty crazy. Um, and then they talk about a, a battalion called the First Cohort, um, re representing Nagash's elite. And I think this seems like it's basically Nagash and some Morgasts. So it seems like in that cohort, um, either either Morgasts are going to be uh, battle line or you're going to take some skeletons um, or grave guard to um, back them up. And that's, you know, this photo looks like that's the case. Um, and here we talk about, uh, Nagash's two new magical lores. Um, and we're going to get to hear more about that tomorrow, more about those lores, more about Arcan. And, uh, so basically, um, we just got a, 
a uh, really cool kind of bomb of of what is summoning. We got a bomb of of what's happening in the grand host of Nagash, and where is he leaning? It seems like he's leaning heavy death rattle um, and more ghasts. Um, so I, I would fully expect um, one of these more tarks to lean towards uh, you know um, dead walkers, and one of them to to lean towards soul blight. I don't know, um, or maybe just treat death rattle in a different way. But uh, I think it makes sense to me that Nagash would prefer mindless minions as opposed to I mean he's got his more more Tarks who have minds and cause him some consternation because of their plotting and scheming um, to try and deal with other vampires I mean that's why you have middle management right um, so uh, yeah I, I was super psyched to see this article um, it was super fun chatting in the um, legions of the gash whatsapp group about uh, what was possible here um, the the potential um um, hobby and modeling, uh, you know, of, of grave sites is fantastic. Um, I love the idea of, of there being either a modeling kit so that the, the garden of more by itself, a single kit would only be three of those mausoleum buildings. When they do put them, put two together, that's six. So you easily have four here. Maybe there's opportunities to put more on the table, with certain spells so you could get different um, kind of positions where you can bring up uh, models etc um, so you know you just get a death a death version of Sylvaneth um, and uh, you know so there's just some some cool things there um, yeah I think we got some really cool insight into what's coming we've got more to look forward to the rest of this week um, and uh and, and hope you get you enjoy uh, what's coming as much as I am enjoying what's coming. Excited for pre-orders of the Legion of Nagash to be out this weekend, along with pre-orders for Malign Portents, um, pre-orders for the War Scryer um, Citadel, uh, which is the old um, Skullvane Mance, um, and uh, you know we've got you know there's tons of things like dice and and uh, combat gauges, etc. So lots of stuff coming on sale this weekend or pre-order this weekend um, just to get everybody jumping into Malign Portance and get into the spirit of death. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying, like I said, these articles coming out. Let's talk more about them uh, in the next few days. Um, join me in the comments below if you have any thoughts, if anything jumped out to you, anything you love, anything you hate. Um, not that I love to dwell on the hate too much, but uh, if you if you got want a place to to chat about it or, or seek some, some comfort. Uh, we got you. Um, and, uh, like the video. If you enjoyed uh, my review on this, subscribe. If you want to hear more from me and the other, uh, mortal realms crew, um, both on our, uh, podcast where we're, uh, upcoming, we're going to be going through, um, overlords of the dragon something. Oh man, the title. I'm terrible at this. I'll, I'll tell you more what the title is tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and we'll, we'll see you soon.